Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all keeping well. And today's tying is the Woodcock and CDC Sedge. On European rivers, uh, this is normally fished in the evening, uh, but it shouldn't be neglected at very first light when often caddises are hatching, uh, certainly on European rivers, as I say. So we'll get straight into the tying. I'm going to be using 12-0 black thread to mount the fly and I'm going to start that a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook and wind down. Trim off that uh, extra. Now for the, uh, the tail I'm going to use a little bit of CDC and it doesn't have to be a lot and I'm going to use the fluffy parts at the bottom of the uh, of the fly sorry of the feather I'm just going to trim that up and tie that in I'm going to just trim that to length and trim off the excess Just tie down those parts and back down. Now for the body, I'm going to use um, some mixed hair, hare's ear and rabbit and squirrel, etc. etc. Now, in order for this to, to stick, I'm going to put a little bit of wax on the thread. That's that. And some of this hair on. This particular fly has proved very very successful for me and for other anglers I know in Spain. It is very much uh, a popular caddis fly. Right, that's a nice dubbing rope so let's wind that on. Just build it up a little bit at the front. Right now I'm going to uh, trim the top part off because that's where the wing is going to sit and it just makes it easier to sit on there. Right. Now for the underwing I'm going to use some uh, CDC and this is natural brown CDC. It's quite light. Now this uh, particular sedge also is about movement as well as style. So I'll just tie that in on the top there as an underwing and trim up those butts and tie them down. Now the overwing is going to be woodcock. Now, woodcock feathers come in so many different patterns. It's absolutely amazing and they are great for using as wings. As you can see here different mottlings and barrings. There's a heavily barred one. So um, all you have to do is just take off the trimmings at the bottom I mean, here are some that I've already done and lay it on top of the, uh, of the CDC. And tie it down. Yeah. 
and trim off the back. Right, now for the hackle, I'm going to use a furnace hackle. And I've got one here I've already taken off. So I'll just trim off the barbs at the bottom. And tie that in. Just trim off that excess stalk. And we'll wind this on. It is my intention to make this quite a heavily barbed fly, so there'll be quite a few turns. And it doesn't matter if you go backwards and forwards to create a nice bushy front. Right, I think that's enough. Probably about ten turns there. And trim off the hackle. Pull the fibers back. And create the head. tie off. And trim up. Put a little bit of super glue on there just to tighten the knot or to make sure that it doesn't come undone. It shouldn't anyway with three turns. Just check the eye. Back to now for a little bit of hairdressing because we don't want these sticking out at the front here. As I said, this is quite a, a bushy fly, and uh, the CDC gives it lots of movement, which makes it very attractive to, uh, to the fish. There. And there you have the woodcock and CDC Caddisfly. It can be an absolute demolisher um, in the early morning or as I say the late evening. Uh, do give it a go because the fish find it difficult to resist. And uh, if you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider being so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.